is going on everyone rain back and today we got a bunch of stuff uh the the new nemesis has his name nadiel on uh, turinga i want to talk a little bit about the war books because someone had a question for me but first i want to talk about the stream that was a kind of a disaster yesterday basically i couldn't figure out a way to uh, to upload my my screen and my audio on my computer at the same time i tried a bunch of different encryptions but i still appreciate the people that stopped by Jax, um, Angelica, I know was there. Uh, Houston was there. What's up? Was there? I just appreciate everyone that stopped by for a little bit. But I didn't like the quality. I had to break it up because my internet was lagging. I probably won't do this again. I'll make it so you guys can just watch my edited. If I do the PVP drinking, I'll do the edited so you guys can see it in better quality so that it's not lagging. Um, unless someone's got a better um, encryption or not encryption, yeah, a better encryption app that I can use uh, that allows me to share quality with the, the video and then the screen for my computer at the same time. If someone has any recommendations, I was just using, um, I think YouTube Gaming is what I was using. But I um, apologize for the people that watch it. I just deleted them today because I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't proud of it. So I'll just, I'll just, uh, tips for props and everything for everyone that stopped by. But um, today we're going to talk about this Monster Vault. It's actually available. You can actually buy it for some people. I think it's just, it might be a small percentage of people that have this available, um, but it's on Android device. So what I'll show you, in my opinion, what you can do. So these, I think you can just take any legend or any monster and just put this legend, say, now I put my Nautilus in there. Um, and I'm going to show you guys why, how to maximize profits with this. If you are going to purchase the slots um, and then as well, how you would like to you can always move them back um, what I would recommend doing for some players that at least have what what are the max number of um, habitats some of the high level players the best way to do this would be to go through and to, if you want to save your legends see now I deleted epics and uncommons before and I wish I hadn't because I didn't know this was coming out um, but what I would do is go through your habitats each one find the legends that have the lowest revenue so this would be a great one so I want I don't necessarily need my Lasaki, but I can move him because I'm never gonna use him. And then I can do it with he's also a really low gold producer, my Esmelter. And then okay, for first off I'm gonna write this down. Uh, actually it's twenty twenty eight thirty six is how many gems I have. I think it's on on Monster Wiki. The actual number that um, it costs to purchase, I think forty slots. But it's not necessarily uh, it might not be correct. So what I'll do is just make a little note here because um, I'm just going to purchase. You guys can watch. Uh, I have the gems to do this. Not everyone's going to be able to do this. So 1, 15, 15, 20, 20, 20. So 28, 36 I think it was. So that's, I bought six slots. We'll just buy 10. 2, 6, 8. So 20, 36. So that's about almost 200 it's about 189 179 179 gems is that correct I think the, the monster wiki it also has it on here I will just pull it up right here so 10 slots 131 that's not right see I just bought 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 see I just bought 10 this says it was 131 but if I went from 28.36 to 26.55, it's it's more than that. So I'm sure I can just do the math better than that. 6.55. Oh, okay. So what is that? Five? I can't even read my. I'm writing in like a sharpie, so I can barely read my writing here. Yeah, it's, I think it's 81. Seven. I haven't done this in a while. Yeah. Okay. So it's about 180. 180 gems so we'll just do it to 10 more so just 25 25 25 25 that's about that's 105 for four extra slots 105 so that's 14 slots and then 30 30 30 and 30 geez 120 so that's 225 for 18 slots plus the original um, 180 Oh wait, no, is that 221? Why am, I in, why am I not doing this math right? I can just I just can't read my writing. Um, 
So we are at a total of 406. Is that right? I think that's right. 406 total. I think that's right. 831, yeah. So 406 total um, in 14 slots. That's terrible. But to me, I look at it like I can not only have more legends, but I'll be able to produce more gold. For me, there's someone that is willing to put a bunch of money in the game. Um, it, it actually will be effective. So 35, 35, 35, 35. So that's 70, 140. 140. So for 20, about 22 slots, it's about 550 gems. Two slots so is about 184. No. Yeah. 180 for 10. And then this doesn't look right. See, this is a 22. Maybe it is right down here. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Anyway, uh, so we have 22 slots, but now you can see the, the best way to do this. Um, I wonder what this goes up to. So what's that? There's eight, so that's 24 slots total. Well, you I didn't have to buy the first two, you get two free. Uh, it's also 20 million to buy, but there goes a thousand gems. And how many slots do I have? That's a thousand gems right there. So eight. Well, it's six, but essentially eight, 16, 24, 32, 35. 35 slots for about a thousand, for about, is that right? For a thousand gems. So this isn't correct. See, this doesn't show everything. So now it's about 50 gems for a legend. Jeez. This does get expensive fast. Um, it, what does it say? See, this, so this is, this is, you can have as many as you want. Oh my God. I can imagine some of the slots being up to 200 gems. So 100 gems, 200 gems, 300 gems, 400 gems, 500 gems. We'll just do 50 slots. Because I think it is worth it. I think to me it's worth it. I could have five more legends that I'll be able to use and utilize that aren't going to be produced. They won't even be produced. They will be producing gold. My, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these guys. So now that I've gotten rid of two producers, um, let's see, another metal. I'll find two other metal ones. I'll show you guys exactly what I would do. So what was my total here? So about 1,800 gems, 1,800 gems for 50 more slots, for 50 total slots, for 48 slots really, because you're buying only 48. So I'm guessing he's not, actually he's not a bad gold producer. That's a good gold producer. That's a good gold producer, and that is an average gold producer. Keep him, we'll keep him, he's not bad. He's high enough, he's high enough. I thought I had worse gold producers than this. 82 is not very good. I'm gonna try. Maybe I'll just do those two. That's probably one of the worst ones. Move them to. Wow, this is awesome. So you guys now get to see exactly how I would. Probably my. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So, I have these legends in here, so I can move these two. Move. These two and we'll finally move him so now i have a level eight metal habitat but like i said they're they're making okay perfect so now i can put my habitat that isn't a legendary habitat so looking at more legends and i can put my non-legendary habitats to storage because i'm not going to need them because my worst gold producers out of all the le out of all the different monsters are usually the uncommons and the rares and the, the commons um, occasionally you'll have a couple bad legends, but they're always going to be higher. So, this way, now, I can just buy more habitats, more legendary habitats. Because when they come out, not enough space. I'm just going to move this back. There should be enough space now, right? Maybe. Not a building. So you guys check, make sure you can, you, you guys might have this available too. Um, don't have space for it. Let's just do this one. Let's just do two of these, huh? That's not a great gold producer. I bet you my freedom fighter isn't good. Yeah, he's not great. Move him in there. We will move probably my, this guy's probably ter yep, terrible. Um, there are two more water ones that aren't good. What do we have here? Sludger? He's not bad. My Murr Snake's probably terrible. Yep. Murr Snake's terrible. 
And then one more, I think. What are you? Not bad. It's max, so he's probably pretty decent. Volray is pretty high as well. Yeah, there we go, turtle. Yep. Put him in here. I can move these two to closer to my um, the boosts for the gold boosts. So now I can put this in away, and now I can buy at least one legendary habitat. So um, so now I can get rid of ten of my non-legendary habitats and be able to get forty more spots available. Well, actually, it'd be forty-eight. Yeah, essentially, um, forty-eight. What was that? <laughs> um, so uh, you'll see in, in later. Maybe I'll make it uh, this the screenshot of all my new habitats. But this is this is pretty cool. Um, again, if you you'd have to put a good you'd have to put fifty dollars into the game. And for me, it's not a big deal because like I haven't bought any legends because there hasn't really been any good ones on sale. Not ones that I really want. There's a couple ones I want. Uh, Harande Lior and NPS should be coming up soon. Jassiter. Those ones are they should be coming up on sale soon. Either way, uh, this is worth it in my opinion for the high level players. I'm telling you, your 130s that are putting 20, 30 bucks into the game, this is going to be worth it for you because if you look at any level, even if you had uh, your uncommons to say 90, you're looking at oh well, maybe not 90, maybe. Um, a not five star uncommon. We'll just look at a regular epic that is to level. Oh, my um, my my one Nautilus is. Where is he? He's actually that's not a good example because that's a pretty good epic for gold. Um, but in general, your legends are going to have better gold production, and you could put them on to a hundred. Uh, whereas the epics or not the epic, yeah, the epics rares and um, uncommons they don't make nearly as much. So if I put this one to um, say 90 it'd probably be making actually I can just look up some of these but I, I don't really care that much I just know that this is uh, this is pretty heavy on the gem count guys you saw at the end there it's 55 and it looks like it goes to a hundred is that correct so there's H 16 32 48 oh wait I'm not even looking at it once so 8 16 32 48 64 Six. No. I'm just blanking right now on math. Oh my god, look at this. So roughly 20 and 8 is 160. Jeez, so 100. So this is about 200 spots, is that right? 8 and 6. Wait, did I, what did I say? Yeah, 160. Ah, jeez. So about 200 spots in the Monster Vault. Because I bought not that many. <laughs> um, but that's really just kind of what I wanted to bring you guys. Just a little insight to how to maximize your gold profits. Um, if you're going to make the transition to the Monster Vault. But you have to know you're going to be have to putting in money in the game if you really want this. I'm going to slowly, probably over the next you know four hours, uh, put away all of the um, lower gold producers. Legends I don't care about like my Pyrook. This is probably one. I'll move him right in my monster vault. And I'll do that for some of the habitats. Um, again, you really don't need these are they, they don't they lose their gold production when they go in the vault, but you'll still be able to utilize them if it, if you ever need to, if you want to rank them up for the uh, the library. Um, this way you'll be able to maximize um, not only the the uh, your library, but you'll be able to have more legends in general. Uh, but like I said, I really hate that they put this they, they should have made at least 10 spaces for gold so that the people that actually want to you know buy this that don't have the gems to spend because even if you're like I said even if you're doing 10 it's about 150 gems that you right around the 15 mark you are um, you're looking at you're looking at the cost of a legend so that's that's worth it in my opinion but you saw that I spent 1800 to get 50 spots because it starts getting up there about a hundred a piece, or 50, 50 for fifty a piece, so a hundred for two spots, which kind of sucks, guys. It does. Uh, but I guess next thing I'll mention um, is the newest uh, nemesis. We well, already mentioned the nemesis, but this is the uh, Nadiel is the newest 
um, Nemesis Legend, and then Shinara's Bodyguard is on here as well, I believe. These are some new weird ones. The Undertaker, he looks awesome. Ki, this is, no, that's not him. Kikaku? Kihaku? I don't know. Um, where's the, where's the, I think I clicked on it, didn't I? Shinara's Bodyguard's on here. I don't know why I was missing it. Oh, it's the, the male, male, where is he? Right here. Um, I'm excited for this one because I don't like Sh General Shinara and I don't like the pet. So if this legend has some really cool skills like an AOE stun or just something something cool that is a deny because there are a lot of good deniers in the magic category. There are a lot of good ones that can possess, but there are really not that many that can uh, stun or freeze. Um, I just showed you Toy Master. He has a freeze skill and I think he has a stun skill, but none of them are AOE stuns and AOE freeze, not that I can think of. Um, none of these have them. Oh, Uru's really good, uh, but we'll see the nem we'll see the analysis when that legend comes out. I'll do one on him, so that'll be really cool. But that's really all I had for you guys. I just want to show you guys the Monster Vault. Uh, maybe sometime in the next week when I do another video, um, I'll show you my progress on all my new habitats because I'll have a bunch of new habitats and I'll slowly um, be purchasing uh, more and more. But I know the seventy-two hour challenge could be on Monday because there's only like. What? Yeah, there's only eight hours left on this, on the maze. Make sure you guys cash in all of your coins. I don't know if there's another um, uh, discount time, but that's really all I had for you guys. Either way, thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate it if you, you sub, like, whatever. I'm not that person to push for that usually, but um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch all you guys in the next one.